Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So in today's journey, we are going to be traveling from Savlamar to Montego Bay. We are going to be starting this journey right as you leave Dunbar's River. We are driving around Chantilly direction. In this journey, we are going to be passing through areas like Stratbogie, Hatfield, Petersfield, and we are heading to Montego Bay. We are also going to be slowing down the video. So if you see any slow motion, we deliberately slow down the video because we want you to enjoy the view. We also want you to look because you might be overseas and you haven't been to Jamaica for a while. We want to drag your memory. So, sit back, relax, grab a bottle of your favorite drink or your favorite beverage and drive with me. Now, we want you to stick around to the last story. We are going to show you how brazen these hoodlums are. You are not going to want to miss the last story. Stand by for it. But, first up, yesterday we carried a story. We told you about an accident that took place along the Flankers Main Road. We gave you the name of the man who died in the accident as Raymond Lyndon. No, it's not Raymond Lyndon. Take off the N of the last name. His name is Raymond Lindo. You are seeing a photograph of Raymond on your screen. He was 46 years old and Raymond, he has been working with sandals for years. He was a dive instructor. He had even worked with sandals overseas in the small islands. Now, this is a very, very sad story. Here is why. On Sunday, November 28, 2021, sometime after 5 p.m., a Toyota Voxy, it was traveling from the airport direction towards Iron Shore and reaching the vicinity of the Flankers Main Road. We are told that a motor car overtook this Toyota Voxy. The motor car that overtook the Toyota Voxy, it appears as if the driver for that motor car, he swerved back to his left too quick. As a result, it hit into the front section of the Toyota Voxy. We are told that the front bumper of this Toyota Voxy, it was torn off. The driver who was driving the car, he apparently lost control of the car. So the car got down the road and collided in a utility pole. That is when it came to a complete stop. The driver for the Voxy, he pulled off the road. Remember we told you, his bumper was torn off. So he walked down to where the car was to check on the driver or the persons in the vehicle if they were okay. The driver for the car, we are told that he came out with his hands on his head. Apparently, he was frightened about what just took place. We are told that the police, they were called. It took a while before the police reached on the scene. The driver for the Voxy, we are told that he's friends with Raymond. So, from all accounts, he might have called Raymond and told him what took place. Raymond, we are told that he came from the Iron Shore direction. He drove up his vehicle and parked on the left side of the road heading towards airport direction. Raymond, he got out of his vehicle and crossed the road. Apparently, he was going to talk to his friend who was across the other side of the road as also checked on the vehicle. Raymond now reached the median, yes, the middle section of the road. For those who know that road, it's one way each way. There's a median in the middle. Raymond, he now reached the median. We are told that two vehicles were coming along the road, driving very fast. Persons who were on the scene, they told us that the impression they got is that these two vehicles were racing. We are not able to verify that, but we are just repeating what we are told by persons who were on the scene. Raymond, he was now in the middle of the road. Raymond, he had one of his feet on the median and the other foot on the road. The BMW that was coming up, it hit the foot that was in the road. From all indication, the BMW was traveling at a very fast speed. Raymond, he was picked up by this BMW and we are told that he went up into the air and dropped about 50 feet from where he was hit. When Damien dropped, that was it. He received injuries to his head, both legs, right eye, you name it. 
the BMW that hit Raymond, it stopped. Our information is that Raymond, he was on the ground for maybe an hour. He was later taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital, where he was officially pronounced DEAD. It is suspected, or by all accounts, Raymond died on the spot. We are also getting some unconfirmed reports that Raymond is a licensed firearm holder and the weapon, he had it in his waist when he was hit. And that weapon, it had not been found. We are getting reports that Sunday night, the police and soldiers, they were in the flankers area searching for that weapon. Let's hope that they find it. But I can tell you, this is a sad, sad story indeed. Raymond, wherever he was, he was called by his friend. And he was only coming to assist. He was coming to give comfort to his friend and assist in any way he could. But he ended up losing his life. We'd like to take time out to say condolences to the family and friends of Raymond Lindo. May his soul rest in peace. Now, we are learning that there were two robberies in Westmoreland just minutes apart yesterday. Monday, November 29th, 2021. We are going to give you the last incident first. The last incident, it took place about 6.45 p.m. It took place at a place named Redgate. Redgate is in the Bluefields Police Area in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, our information is that a businessman, he operates a shop at Redgate. He was at his business place when a grey Toyota motor car drove up. Two men were inside of this motor car. It is said that the men stopped at the shop and they ordered something from this businessman. They then came out of the car and pulled guns on this businessman. They then demanded cash. The businessman, he handed over to them over 20,000 Jamaican dollars. The men then proceeded to rob this businessman of cigarettes and a 30-pound cooking gas. <laughs> yeah, man. They robbed this man of a cylinder with gas. You see, you see, why I tell you, you know, trust me. The hoodlums, they then boarded the car and made good their escape. So, apparently, their gas ran out. Yes, their cooking gas. They needed a replacement. So, they did not decide to buy any. They decided to rob one. And not only rob one, they robbed this man of his cash and cigarettes. This man is a trying man. A businessman so he must work for these hoodlums to benefit i tell you now if you are here and you are watching this video so far if you have not yet hit on the like button remember to hit on it if you have not yet subscribed to the channel remember we are almost at 50,000 subscribers we need another 1500 more to get there when we reach 50,000 subscribers we'll be giving away some cash over 50,000 Jamaican dollars. We are going to be giving away this money to more than 10 people. So, tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to the channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, remember, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell, then click all. So that, as soon as we have uploaded a new video, you will be notified. And remember, you, yes you, you may be one of the lucky winners. Now, in the final story for today, earlier this year, we got a voice note from a lady. We had sought her permission and she said, go ahead and play it. We played the voice note. We wanted to listen to what this lady had said on that occasion. Good afternoon, Popeye Newslink. I'm one of your subscribers from Petersville in Westmoreland. I locked up my business place on Thursday afternoon, say about 7 o'clock, I operate a Supreme Ventures cash pot shop. And on Friday morning, someone called to say that the doors were open and no one was there. Upon investigation, I realized that the shop was broken into. And the hoodlums take um, my generator, 
the um the modem for the terminal so i can't operate the modem for the internet they also took the um the hard drive for the cameras the security cameras they took some stuff like my stapler um a lunch bag i have that have a hot plate in it they took some stuff that trust me i'm wondering what has happened to us as jamaicans once upon a time westmoreland was a place where everybody from kingston everywhere want to come now westmoreland is a place that you don't want to even be in honestly i'm so devastated by what has happened because you know you're you employ persons from the community you provide a service for them so that they don't have to go far away to get their 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 gambling done by their phone cards etc and the same persons within the community would come and tear down your place and on, a, on top of that they not only tear down the place what they did as well was take away my livelihood because since friday i cannot operate i am a single woman that's my source of income and i'm telling you i feel so defeated but guess what i'm not gonna let them get to me i'm gonna use this as my motivation to do better because in jamaica we need people who can do better but these hoodlums we need to get rid of them honestly but people know stuff and they're not talking and that is why we are so so backwards in jamaica everybody have this um no informer um thing about them that them not them not police informer they're not inform on nobody they're not doing this they're not doing that but at the end of the day when it reach our our doorsteps that's a time we'll rec recognize that it's not an informer thing it's a thing of keeping your community and yourself safe have a blessed day as you always say blessed love everybody no this lady she's a trying lady a hard-working lady she work because she not beg nobody nothing. She work for what she wants. The hoodlums went to her business place more than once and broke into it. But on this occasion, they up the ante. You understand what that mean? Yeah man, they step up their game a notch. Yesterday evening, Monday, November 29th, 2021, this lady, she was at her business place. Like she told you in the voice note, she operates a cash pad shop. She operates this cash pad shop at Petersfield in the parish of Westmoreland. Some minutes after 6 p.m., she closed business. Checked off her money, put everything together, and came out of the business place. She was heading towards her car. Her car was parked nearby. As she was heading towards the car, we are told that three motorcycles with six men, two men on each motorcycle, rode up to her the information we got is that these three motorcycles they were parked down the road apparently they were timing this lady to come out of her business place so the drunkards rode up to where this lady was the pillions they brandished guns and took down this lady they demanded all that she had the lady in fear of her life she handed the bag that she had to these hoodlums this bag that she handed to them, it had over 500,000 Jamaican dollars. And remember, you know, that money is not hers. She sell cash per ticket, so it's only a percentage of that that she would be getting. The money belongs to Supreme Venture. So she handed over the bag to these hoodlums. And like we said, over 500,000 Jamaican dollars was in this bag. But this lady, her medication was also in the bag, along with other important documents the hoodlums on leaving we are told that they fired shots in the ear because them just bingo so they were celebrating whilst they were riding away a police patrol unit was on patrol in the area now we are not sure whether or not the police heard the gunshots but by all indication they were not responding to this robbery because they wouldn't have gotten the information as yet so the hoodlums and seeing the police car they never just ride away they opened gunfire on the police unit three police officers were in this unit it was a marked police vehicle the police i am sure they were taken by surprise but they managed to return the fire 
These hoodlums, we don't know if any of them were injured, but they made good their escape. The right section of the police vehicle, the windscreen, the dashboard, and the right front door post, they were damaged by bullets. We are told that at least five bullets were fired in this police vehicle. You see how lucky these policemen are? We are happy that this lady, she was not harmed because it's possible that she could have been harmed because shots were being fired. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody.